It's uh, Nick the Rat Radio, episode 17. We made it this far, and we still haven't been shut down yet. That's got to be good, I guess. Uh And to celebrate that, we've got mucho music for you. And we're just going to kick it off right now with with Alvik. Go, Alvik, go. Well, I would like to kick it off with that, but apparently I'm just going to skip into the middle of the song. And wow, uh, if that's the uh, sign of things to come tonight, people, we're not going to make it. We're not going to make it anywhere, basically. It's all meaningless anyway, I heard. So it doesn't matter. We're, We're shutting the show down, people. Nick the Rat live from the sewer is now over. No, I'm just fucking with you. I'm just fuck. Uh, it's it's now ten thirty one Friday, Fri- Friday. Everybody, it's Friday. You made it through the week. Congratulations, human. You have served your masters gracefully for five days straight. Dreading every se- man. That's not the way to live your life. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta do what you love. Make make that whole. Make your hole. All right, let me go back to Alvik. I'm going to start from the start this time, though, because the song's awesome. Let's go! Go, Nick the Rat, go! Friday! That's impossible. No, it's not! Bill Clinton's here, everybody, right? Is that right? Yes. Okay. Just wanted to let you know. Bill's partying tonight. Yes. Yes, he is. Here works for me. Okay. It's funny how we all feel pretty much the same things, but we let this overseeing power control things how they really go. My mother named me William Jefferson Blythe III. You know what I'm talking about, then? Why? Because I feel my pain, bro. Clinton, you were a motherfucker. No. Smoke a cigar in here, Bill. Just put that out. Just a joke. Okay, well, whatever. It's, to me, it's not just a joke. To me, it's serious. You gotta. You, can, you can't smoke that. You can hear. You know what? Here, take this, Bill. Hold up. Bill, you need this, okay? Just wait a second. All right, there. Okay, Bill, here, you take it. Talk to me. Uh, you take this. You do it. I, I just gave it to you. Here, take that. <laughs> okay, good. 
So, in the news, apparently if Hillary Clinton gets elected, we're going to find out about aliens in Area 51. My, I could have sworn this is like what all politicians say before they ever get elected. It's for the kook vote. Isn't it? The kooks? Yeah, listen to this. this when it comes to Area 51 and whether or not the U.S. government knows of aliens, should Secretary Clinton be elected president? Well, what I've talked to the Secretary about and what she said now in public uh, is that if she's elected president and she gets into office, uh, she'll ask for uh, as many records as the United States uh, federal government has to be declassified. What? And uh, I think that's a commitment that she intends to What was going on? And that I intend to hold her to. Have you seen any of these documents? You were White House Chief of Staff years ago. Have you uh, you seen- know, uh, President Clinton uh, asked for some uh, information about some of these things. Uh, what about that? Uh, some information about what was going on uh, at Area 51. Uh, but uh, I think that no way. the U.S. government uh, could do a much better job uh, in answering the quite legitimate questions that people have uh, about what's going on with uh, unidentified aerial phenomena, and they should, uh, you know, the American people can handle the truth, so they should just uh, do a thorough oh, sure. search. What is the truth? And the, open are, it is up. there evidence of alien life? No way. You know, that's that's for the public to judge once they've seen all the all, I said all no. the uh, evidence that the U.S. What do you think, seriously? What do you think personally? What do I think? I think there's a lot no. of planets out there. No. Well, you see, they're just lying, says Bill. I don't care what you think, man. Once, once your wife gets elected, because that's probably what's going to happen. That's just going to happen. Uh, oh, I feel horrible. I Wait, no, I don't feel horrible. I actually said who played that last song. That was, that was Al V. Go. Wow. They were doing good. And also, just to have that, I, I like, I, I remembered that. It came from from the dust. It's like crystals from the dust. It's crystals? VIP! Crystals VIP from the dust! Or or from the dust? Crystals VIP! I'll never remember if the song or the, the artist comes first. So I'll just say them both randomly, constantly. You'll Google them. You'll find them. You look up dust and crystals. You won't be picked up by the government. Don't worry. Having a few problems. Just to get them off the street. Oh, aliens? I got whacked. No, not yet you didn't, buddy. You will. When Hillary needs those last couple of points, you're going down, my friends. That piece of road over there buckled and cars were stuck in the ditch. Goats have them crazy eyes. We're stuck in the ditch. Let's gotta get out. I screwed up my car. Sorry, Bill. Your car is of no concern to my listeners. There's like three people listening right now. The crystals from the dust. Yeah. With me, Nick the Rat and Bill Clinton. Here, work for me. 
That's right, Billy Boy. Thank you. Bill Clinton of Arkansas. Well. You want to smoke more of that weed? <laughs> you do it. Okay. Horrible. Wow. I feel weird. Like, I just did crystal dust. Wow. Ooh, man. Uh, instead of doing sponsorships, I'm just gonna say, uh, right now I'm drinking Shiner Wicked Ram IPA. Indian Pale Ale. Those Indian people really know how to put more alcohol content into their drinks. And to them, I salute you. I salute them. I salute. I salute them. What's the difference? I don't really know. It's sort of the same, but it's good. It's woo. Uh, uh, so we have a phone number at nicktherat dot live com on radio slash pbs dot com. I don't know. You can call me at nine one seven seven one nine five nine two three. I remember the number good enough now to yodel it. Let's listen to the last first caller. I haven't. I don't even. I don't listen to these before I play them. So if you hear something you don't like, you can just turn it off. I don't even. I don't filter these people. So, if somebody calls me the Antichrist or insults you, cover your kids' ears. I know you're listening right now with kids, so cover them. Here comes my first voicemail of the night. Larry? Larry? I think that was Larry the hostage. I guess I'll call him that now. He was Larry the hostage. He's just always locked up, breathing heavy. If somebody could send that guy some sweatpants, that might help him. He might be doing better with him. All right, let's play. I feel like I'm ripping you off with Larry the hostage because he just breathes into your ear like <laughs> it's a tool. Uh, here's my next voicemail. Maybe it's Larry telling me how to save him. I don't know. I don't. I don't know. Hey, Nick the Rat, this is Tommy fucking Tomato, okay? Oh, no. I'm tired of this fucking caller calling up telling me that I don't know what's going on in the fucking grocery. Get the fuck out of here. The I'll see you tomorrow. I don't know why he keeps saying he's going to see me tomorrow. I never see him. I've been under the grocery store. I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. All right, let's try to do a mashup of sorts now, perhaps. Perhaps I can do it now. I don't even remember what I was going to do. So let's just go into order. And if it happens, it happens. You just got to pretend you're on a river, people. Because, you know, we, we, when you're doing things, and you just got to do it and keep doing it. Then you finish it, and then you're done with it, and then you gotta do it some more. There's really no point to it. So, let's go flowing with Maloth Rod! Because that's the point. You gotta keep doing it. You gotta do it. Just do it. Do it. Just do it. Do it. Okay. Don't worry. I, I'm done. Do it. Fight like a man. All right. Don't question my manhood, Bill. I put cigars in more compromising places than you ever could dream. Smoked them from places you would never imagine. 
hard being a rat in the sewer. I didn't ask to be abducted by aliens who mistaken me for a person, I suppose. Or they just grab whatever. At least they didn't mutilate me. I feel bad for the cows. This was abuse or severe neglect. Well... Get ready. For what? Hug me for my performance. For what? You get paid after the show, Bill. Just like everybody else here. <sighs> I know. Isn't a guy named Larry Cole on your show? He doesn't exist, okay? He's not real. He's not not being held against his will. You should just drop your search for him. There's no reason to look for Larry. He might already be. I don't mean he's dead. No, that's not what I'm saying. I gotta go find him. from a basement. I'm a prisoner. I've been abducted. My name's Larry. Uh, please send help. It's a conspiracy. Thank you. Nick, you're the only one that can save me. What was going on? It's Larry. Playing old voicemails, man. Come on. Seriously? Yeah, but seriously. My oh my. Alright, yeah. Sit back and relax, President Bill Clinton? Jeez. President anymore. Sit down! Chill out. Relax, Bill. Have, have a beer. Something. Jeez. It still needed a lot of work. Well, it was it was a great song. How dare you say that about flowing, flowing from Maloth Ra? Good. Applaud for f flowing. Applaud. Thank you. Whew. Well, let's see. Do we have anything else in the uh, the immediate news? I think we do. I found more. You can hear it straight from your president's mouth that rich people are only rich because they're smarter than you. And you're stupid for not breaking the law, actually not in the following news law over the loopholes. last couple of days. We've had another reminder uh, in this big dump of data coming out of Panama, Panama that tax avoidance is a big global problem. It's not unique to other countries. Because, frankly, there are folks here in America who are taking advantage of the same stuff. I'm not. A lot of it's legal, but that's exactly the problem. I guess I'm too stupid not, not to do it, huh? The laws is that the laws are so poorly designed that they allow people, if they've got enough lawyers and enough accountants, to wiggle out of responsibilities that ordinary wiggle citizens out of your ass. Uh, are having to abide Jeez. by. Here in the United States, there are loopholes that only wealthy individuals and powerful cor corporations have access to. They have access to offshore accounts, and they are gaming the system. Catch up. Middle class families are not in the same position to do this. Hot dogs. In fact, a lot of these loopholes come at the expense of middle class families. Hamburger. Because that lost revenue has to be made up somewhere. Dinner. Alternatively, it means that we're not investing as much as we should in schools. Chicken. In making college more affordable. Chicken. Dinner. People back to work, rebuilding our roads. Our bridges, our infrastructure, creating more opportunities for our children. Boom. So this is important stuff. 
There is no doubt that the problem of global tax avoidance generally I'm is a huge problem. How, uh, how do I sign on? A lot of this stuff is legal, Barack? not illegal. It's not illegal. And unless uh, the United States not a beagle. and other countries not an eagle. lead by example not in closing some of these loopholes and provisions, uh, okay. then in many cases you can trace what's taking place, but you can't stop it. Uh, okay. And uh, there's always going to be some illicit movement of funds around the world. Yeah. But we shouldn't make it easy. We shouldn't make it legal to uh, engage in transactions. If you make just it possible, to it's already taxes. easy. It's, Jesus. Well, thank you for that, Mr. President. It's great to know that there's people making money offshore and not paying their taxes. It's great. I can't wait to find out who's been doing this. I don't know. It's probably all just a scam. Take more money. Ooh. They want to end encryption, too. Are they batshit and crazy? It's like, oh, yeah. Encryption's illegal. Your credit card information is now fucking public domain. Woo! Well, I'll tell you what's not public domain. Actually, it probably is. It's it's my voicemail at 917-719-5923. Tell me what you think about the government taking over to free up land for the aliens to come here and live. Because that's probably what you're doing. I live in a sewer. But this caller, maybe they don't. I don't know. Nick, Nick, how do I flush the toilet? I don't know. It smells really bad. Thanks. How'd you get that on me? How'd you fucking shit? You suck. How did I come out of a human being? About him, he's a nice guy, even though he ruined your bathroom. That's putrid. You gotta get a doctor to look at that. Nasty. Kitchen. All right, peace out. What's that? An awesome show, you jerk off. Holy crap. What was that? That was like a lot of people talking all at once. I don't know. Whoa. People like talking about toilet bowls on this show. It's crazy. It's got to chill, yo. You legally chill. If you don't chill, that. See, when you get together with people, you start getting drunk and rowdy. Just like Mika, what she's rolling with style. Mika Association? That was the worst intro ever. And that was the worst me hitting the song 38 seconds in. How'd that even happen? I don't know, but here we go. Mika Roll. Bitch, I'm rolling, see me coming in the rear view. Try to test me how to call on this exam. You funny when you get money, they say you be acting brand new. Undercover haters ain't discovered. Just to get them off the street. President Nixon should be impeached. I want to go back in time and keep Nixon from being impeached. Only to come back to the torn up future. Desecrated streets of Brooklyn. Oh you got somebody on Long Island listening. Oh, Queens, I guess. Hey, hey, out there. It's cool because my radio station. It's like I got eyes in the sky. I pay this guy named Rainer. 
He's in the spaceship floating around Earth. He can see everybody listening to the show right now. Hey there, Nick the Rat. Looks like Forest Hills in the place to be. And somewhere up the, uh, the Hudson River, they be huts. It's like Massachusetts signing in tonight. Tick the rat. There's somebody out there. See? That's about it. You got three people to me. Oh man, Nick the rat, man. You need to maybe advertise or something on Facebook. Get on Facebook. Uh, no, I'll pass on Facebook. They should come out with vape book. If you vape, you sign up, and you can meet all the other vapers in your area. Uh, probably not. Nah, that's not gonna happen. That was Mika rolling with style. Uh, usually I would do advertisements, but I already kind of just said I was getting drunk on the Shinerbach, or it's not Shinerbach, it's IPA. Is Bach a type of alcohol, or is that just part of the name? I don't know. I really, I don't. All right, well, I think I played you all the news. There's aliens, and there's there's all this crazy stuff, but I didn't play you all my voicemails. Let's hear what this one sounds like over here. Uh, oh, yeah, by the way, people leave these crazy, crazinesses. If you ever get abducted and you want to get played live, I don't screen these calls. I don't know what's coming in here, people. It's like, uh, I'm opening the window and there's crazy people shouting in and uh, somebody sent this one to me. Let's see. Um, yellow. Hiya, Nick for the rat. This is Blitzed here. How you doing, man? Quick heads up, it's raining cats and dogs here, yo. So watch out for the rat terriers and uh, wet pussies in the sewers, okay? Uh, I enjoy your show very much. Thank you. And may the flooded urban sprawl wash some nice loot into the sewer for you. Right. Plus, 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 88 zero. It's not saying. That was probably like code words to like nuke. Columbia or something. I really hope Columbia is okay tonight. They're not listening, so that was for that was probably for Boston. I guess Boston's getting the code to New Columbia. You heard it here live. Uh all right, let's uh I got a lot of good a lot of a lot of good music here for you. A lot of good stuff. Uh uh-huh. But I also got a lot of really weird shit too, like Hiroishi Matsuka. Uh, loss of deprivation? I don't know, I'm gonna get drunk to this one, people. I don't know. Drink up! I'd drink right now if I were you. I don't know. Hey, Rainer. Are you drinking? Drink, drink up, Rainer. It's right, I'm always drunk. But I don't drink that beer shit. I drink space liquor. I also got a new person on my crew up here in outer space. Hello. His name is Zap. Good morning, lover. Stop calling me that, Zap. I will demote your ass. What is it you want? I'm here to wipe out the Zika virus. Nick the Rat. Play some music. Get drunk. Hey.
President Eisenhower had three secret meetings with aliens. Former Pentagon consultant claims ex-president met with extraterrestrials on three separate occasions at New Mexico Air Base Eisenhower. And of FBI course. officials organized the meetings by sending out telepathic messages. Former American President Dwight D. Eisenhower had three secret meetings with aliens, a former U.S. government consultant has claimed. The 34th President of the United States met the extraterrestrials at a remote airbase in New Mexico in 1954, according to lecturer and author Timothy Good. Eisenhower Ten miles north of there. FBI officials are said to have organized the showdown with the spaced creatures by sending out telepathic messages. The two parties finally met up on three separate occasions at the Holloman Air Force Base. And Clearly no imminent threat. Conspiracy theorists have circulated increased rumors in recent months that the meeting between the Commander-in-Chief and people from another planet took place. It was From almost the perfect Good, crime. A former U.S. Congress and Pentagon consultant are the first to be made publicly by a prominent academic. Speaking on Frank Skinner's BBC2 current affairs show Opinionated, he said that government aliens have made both formal and informal contact with thousands of people throughout the world from all walks of life. Oh, hey! Uh, one second. Hey there, everybody. You're back in outer space, floating around the planet. Let's see if everybody else tuned in here. Let's hit the refresh button on the viewer on the UFO spacecraft. Look at it. It's still just northeast. There's nobody in Panama listening right now. That's kind of upsetting, Nick the Rat. But you know what's not upsetting, Nick the Rat? Listen to some more kick-ass music. You have a good lineup tonight. You got a lot more songs to go through soon. What? Just over broke, half charged? I don't know what I'm saying anymore, but it's good stuff. I'd like some of that. Just a broken down hobo who's hit rock bottom. Oh God, no! <laughs> The democratic order of planets prohibits interfering with undeveloped worlds. It's a little rule known as Brannigan's Law. Shut up, Zach! Listen to the song, please. Ninety nine per cent not guilty. People made addictions, addictions made friends with greed and money. Standing by your side, holding your last two cents. Cause when you're gone, you're gone. That's when the music ends. Money creates a lot of trails and roads from pale to ghost. If you think it brings you happiness, you're failing most. Money plots you to the grave and it soaks in. Most of everyone's life wants a male's old take. To ride is strong to make money live right. Aren't you getting this? Uh, well, 
When you start looking down on the planet Earth from way up here, you can kind of just tell that, like, everybody's kind of together on this shit, you know. You're about shoulder to shoulder where I'm sitting. Maybe even more than that. You're like, oh, you're bumping uglies constantly. So you should really think about, thinking about when you think about stuff, you know. When your uglies are pressed right up to somebody else's uglies, you, you gotta think about that. Uh, and when, you, and when, and let, let's go to a voicemail. We got new voicemail down at 917-719-5923. Voicemail. Hey yo, this is Ricky Ravioli, man. What the fuck is this shit, man? Why don't you get off the fucking sauce? What's wrong with you, man? You go on the air drunk? You got no class. No class at all, man. Come on, what the fuck is this shit? Talk I'm about aliens. Drunk. Fuck. Well, that was a really depressing fucking thing, wasn't it? Oh, God, no! That's what I'm saying. And his name is? I, I don't release names like that. Did you have sex with someone? Not that guy! This is turning into one very sexy struggle for the future of the human race. Oh, uh, that's not really where I was going with it, Zap. I think we should listen to another song and then send it back down to Nick the Rat before we... Tear this thing apart. It's getting, it's getting pretty rough. Look, let's, let's send it down nice and slow, though. You know we're in a spaceship floating around the planet, so we could hit play in slow motion and just push this song down to Earth by a band possibly named something with the song named something possibly else. And those two somethings are Nate Tierrier and Yadisarasil. I don't know. Let's push this one down to Earth, though. It's probably going to fuck with those humans. In the year 2016. Friday night. 11 0 Ocho. He added, asked why the aliens don't go to somebody important like Barack Obama. He said, well, certainly I can tell you that in 1954, President Eisenhower had three encounters, set up meetings with aliens, which took place at certain Air Force bases including Holloman Air Force Base in New Mexico. Eisenhower, who was president from 1953 to 1961, is known to have had a strong belief in life on other planets. Extraterrestrial, Eisenhower, who was president from 1953 to 1961, is known to have had a strong belief in life on other planets the former five-star general in the United States Army, who commanded the Allied forces in Europe during the Second World War, was also keen on pushing the U.S. space program. His meeting with the cosmic life forms is said to have taken place while officials were told that he was on vacation in Palm Springs, California, in February 1954. The initial meeting is supposed to have taken place with aliens who were Nordic in appearance, but the agreement was eventually signed with a race called Alien Greys. Mr. Good added, we know that up to 90% of all UFO reports can be explained in conventional terms. However, I would say millions of people worldwide have actually seen the real thing. According to classified documents released by the Ministry of Defense in 2010, Winston Churchill may have ordered a UFO sighting to be kept secret. 
The UFO was seen over the east coast of England by an RAF reconnaissance plane returning from a mission in France or Germany towards the end of the war. Although it was recently reported that a mysterious class of astronomical phenomena, fast radio bursts, was now understood, that analysis and those conclusions turned out to be faulty. But data from a new study, just released today, shows that some of these fast radio bursts repeat, and that not only is there hope for understanding them after all, but the touted solution of the earlier study falls apart in light of this new data. Here's the story of what they are, plus what we've learned. In 2007, the Parkes Radio Telescope in Australia, one of the largest steerable radio telescopes in the world, found a signal unlike any other, a tremendously energetic, and resolved signal lasting for just thousands of a second. When you pointed your other telescopes to look for it, there was nothing, no optical signal, no follow-up signal, no gamma rays or infrared radiation, nothing. In the nine years since that observation, other giant radio telescopes, like Arecibo, have serendipitously seen them too, but for all of those years, there was no hint of what they might be, and whether they'd have an origin in our atmosphere, from stars or even aliens in our Milky Way or from the very, very distant universe. It was recently claimed that this mystery was solved, by a team that claimed to have identified a galaxy where one of these radio bursts originated. By observing what was inferred to be the same signal, a fast radio burst, seen at parks, followed by a faint radio signature. Ah, well, with a let's just, uh, and that, and that right there, uh, we're back in outer space, let's, uh, Let's possibly play some more voicemail, I guess. I don't know what's going on over here. Uh, let's play this one. Uh, hey, Rainer, you could send it back oh, on no, down no. to Earth now, please. Uh, I'm, I'm almost done in the bathroom. Uh, Come on, I'm sure man. you're doing a really good job up there. Don't send any down. Don't send any nukes. Or mines nuke or any weird Rainer Starcraft shit. Uh, you could keep all that... You can keep all that up there in your spaceships. Just give me control of my radio station again, man. I okay. promise, I'll give you all my space bucks. It's, I'm going to change the cool. radio frequency. Like, really, for I'm you. not going to tell anybody right. about any Good. of the stuff that you've done to, uh, to I haven't me done behind the scenes of the show. And, shh, shh, whoa, come on, whoa. Raider, come on, man. Raider. I'm going to flush you down Raider, the toilet underneath the rat. Give me the, sh give me the show back, please, Raider. Please just. Precisely. Please just get him down the Raider. toilet. Flush that shit. Oh. No. Well, I'm back, everybody. Woo! <sighs> Rainer flushed me down the toilet. But I'm back. He. Gave me my radio station back. Thank you, Rainer! And his new buddy, Zap. Zap sounds like a real jerk. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, where are we in the show? It's 11.14. We started at 10.30. We're a good 45 minutes in right about now. And in New York City, the weather? New York? City. Let's see what it's like outside. It's 43 degrees in New York City. Friday night at 11.14. I, I wonder who's experiencing right now with me. And I hope when you are, it's a good time. Because otherwise, what the hell are you doing? You gotta have a good time while you're here. That's uh, how you do it. And since I'm back, and since Rainer... Woo, I think that jerk off, he's gone, Woo, I don't know where he is. But we're going to play some awesome music now for you. I have some, I'm going to close out this 30 minutes, hour, I don't even know what they call it anymore. What am I even doing? 
I'm talking about aliens. I'm exposing the truth. I'm playing you good music that's free that you never heard of, I guess. Have you heard of Kill Bates with Scratch Trip? Kill Bates and Scratch Trip. I have. We will not be held responsible for any hearing impairments. Or damage, or damage, damage, damage. I hope you're ready. From excessive exposure to this sound. I hope you're ready. For kill baits. In those days, men shall seek Scratch death. Scratch Smoke him if you got him. Billy goat skeletons on the side of mountain cliffs. I want to hear more of their stuff. I'll probably play it again on the show at one point. Same probably with like Bitburner. Wow. I'm starting to learn all about these uh, uh, free artists out there. And I'm trying to promote to aliens the best free music we got. Because they don't want to come to Earth and pay us. Like they're going to have to get a job. Imagine that. Traveling through the star system. You come down to this planet and there's some of these monkeys without hair. 
you know, and they're like, oh, you want to hear our stuff? In the... No, you got to first give us a hamburger or something, you know? A hamburger. 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 With what? Ketchup. Okay, so then once you do that, then you can get this, the CD with the music, yeah. right? Well, guess what? All this music, it's... I'm mostly sure it's free, right? No. Oh, what? I thought it was all free. No. What What, what do you mean it's not free? No. Oh, you mean like because... I'm not really... Well, I, they don't need... they get, Go give any band that I say... Give them some money, I guess. I'm playing, paying, I don't know. Do what you want to do. Fuck. And now you know who they are. I didn't know who they were. Did you know any of them that I played tonight? I didn't. Like, like Invisible Chaos Outside with Emergence and Love. Emerge. I gotta blow my nose. I'm all congested. I feel congested, people. This IPA. It's all up in there. Get ready. We emerge in love. What am I getting ready for? Blow my nose? It's all clogged up. Help. Help. Help me. I got a clogged nose, Billy. Snowflake fractal patterns pulsing with meaning crystallized from chaos into organized forms. Shut up. What? Billy? When the whole is more than. Billy, my nose! What's up? My nose is clogged, Bill! It is the emergence of love. I don't know which disgusts me more, your cowardice or your stupidity. It's my nose! It's clogged up! Give me a tissue, zap! Zap, right? Give me a tissue! Does the company that made your bra make a girdle as well? What's Each mean? Of pleasure is a hurricane encompassing both power and law. It is your mouth on my mouth as we kiss. It is your mouth on my mouth. It is your mouth on my mouth. Do it. Rising from the ashes of broken promises. Hug me for my performance. memories, dreams extracted and treated until all parts meld into this moment inextricable from temporal markers. Quit giving me ship. I'd like help. Chicken dinner. No way. Each random pleasure is a fact. People smell sick. <laughs> Bill, it is your mouth on my mouth. Let the lady talk, Bill. Jeez. It is your mouth on my mouth. Now you're officially my woman. It is your mouth on my mouth. That's for schoolgirls.
You're my best and most loyal friend, but you've earned my contempt once again. As my protege, you should know that the only way to deal with a female adversary is to seduce her. Uh, okay, zap, jeez. Well, let's hear it for, uh, Emerging Love by Invisible Chaos Outside. There's invisible chaos everywhere. If there wasn't, we wouldn't really exist, would we? Like, we need chaos for shit to go crazy, and sometimes you get cancer. <sighs> so, let's not talk about that. Let's talk about voicemail at 917-719-5923. We have to talk about that, so we have to go back there. I don't even have... The, the where's the voicemail? Rainer, did you, where did Rainer go? Did he fuck my voicemail up? I don't know. We know there it is. Voicemail. Hey man, this is Kyle from Seattle. Seattle, uh, house. Colin. Today you got Bill Clinton on. That's fucking crazy, man. The guy's a scumbag. I mean, you heard about the Panama shit, right? It's just fucking crazy. What's the difference? Bro. Do you think it's Lincoln problem? Van Halen Panama? Why? What do you think about that, bro? It's, it's real. It's real. I think it's real. It's all real. I think it's fucked up real. Something wrong. No, nothing's wrong. It's real. It's right. It happened. If it wasn't real and it wasn't right, it wouldn't exist. But it exists, so it's got to be right. Things don't just happen. Like, they've got to... All the fucked up shit that goes on, it's got to happen. If it doesn't happen, then it's, it's, can't be, it, it, it yeah. I don't know, man. Things just exist, okay? Is that really? We got hot dogs. We got, yeah, there's, yeah, think about hot dogs. They exist. Hot dogs exist, people. Think about that for a second. Like, there's junks of something Put into its own intestines and then... I wore cowboy boots to school. Yeah, like cowboy boots. Tasty, tasty cowboy boots. Ketchup. Well, you put those on there, man. I'm telling you. You put the ketchup on the cowboy boots and then you got all the good... Now I'm thinking about that those commercials with the guy with the big sword. And... Ah... <sighs> Wow, everybody, it's Friday. We, we've existed a whole nother week. We've lasted. We've, we've gone through. We've done it. We got the king thrill. To, we got all of that. We got the king thrill to pirate in good spirits. Wow. I be clicking things and they going all over. But it should have, like, been like this getting on that boat it's Friday you gotta get on that Friday boat you gotta face aliens you gotta face everything else out there too it's gonna face it sometimes you gotta do it a brew sometimes you gotta do it a bill something wrong no! I'm very smart. I know, I know, it's fine. Don't worry about that. President Bush had dispatched U.S. troops on a humanitarian mission to avert mass starvation. Did he? That's impossible. What, that your wife would do worse? <laughs> Yes, definitely. Well, it's Friday. It's 11.30. We're at the 11.30 Marky Friday in New York City. Hope you've enjoyed all the music that I've played. 
and all of the whatevers and stuffs. What a fun hour! Uh, Nick the Rat, live from the sewer! Oh, it's not over yet. It's not over. I've got some more kibbles and bits. King Thrill to Pirates in Good Spirit. Well, let me tell you, people. It's New York. It's good times. It's scary out there, though. Like, like <gasps> when I'm in the sewers, it's all good. But once you go outside, there's aliens and Bigfoot just trying to stomp all over you. They don't really care about you. There's people getting getting rich off of tax money, tax breaks, and foreign countries. There's there's immigration laws. They don't want rats here. They're trying to kick us out. We need wildlife in the city. It's true. You just need it. And don't blame the plague on us, all right? That's a cheap low blow. It wasn't us. It was the fleas, okay? It's the goddamn fleas. Don't blame the rats. Don't blame the cats. Don't blame the witches. Blame the insects. The insects are the alien invaders. Man, you've read that book about that kid that played the tablet game with the giant. You know what I'm talking about. Was it even in the movie? I haven't watched it. Wait a second. Isn't Harrison Ford in it? Is he? Hold on one second. Harrison. Harrison. Fordula. Harrison Ford, people. Let's check his thing. Ender's Game. He was in it. All right, I'm going to watch that movie. Ender's motherfucking game. A great book. It was probably a real, a really bad movie. Probably was. Was it? When the aliens first invaded. That's Harrison. I could tell his voice. He doesn't give a fuck about his job. They will be back. There's greatness in you, Ender. The world needs you. You were bred for this. You see things in a way we can't. You alone can understand the enemy. You will be the one to save mankind. Unless we act now, Earth will be annihilated. We're out of time. He's not ready. You're never ready. Ben Kingsley, too. Track them from below the ice. Shoot straight. Stay calm. Here we go. Fire! I've never seen anyone do that. That was just Goatsy, bro. Why? I've never really seen it either. either, Then it's over. What will be left of the boy? What does it matter if there's nothing left at all? If you don't try, then we will all be lost. I'll do everything I can to win this war. If you succeed, you will be remembered as a hero. He's abandoning his entire fleet. He's in command. There's no stopping him now. 
in three, two, one. We should make trailers illegal. Because I read the book Ender's Game, and judging by that trailer, they showed the ending. Basically. <sighs> I didn't show you the ending to my voicemail, though. Is that. Is it what? That's Panama. I think I think the end is here. The pan It's it's here. The end is here, people. It's 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 coming to you live through my voicemail. It's all you gotta know. It's It's the end. And we're going to end it with some Undertale music, because fuck yeah. Have a good night, everybody. It's uh, Friday, 11.36 at night. I'm feeling good. I hope you're all feeling good, too. I'll, I'll talk to you soon. We'll be back. We'll do this again, all right? You come back. Maybe I'll even get Rainer back. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. Maybe I'll be here in your hopes and dreams. Undertale. It's a remix. And it, it, it happened again. Oh man, I gotta press these buttons differently. And good night, everybody. Stick to rap. Coming to you live. What's up? Rat Free Radio. Donate today. Don't worry about the Zika virus. I got that under control. Go out there and make love. What say you and I knock some very sensual boots? Why? Good. What was going on? I have made it with a woman. Not yet, you haven't. Zap. Jeez. Oh, man. This song makes me feel good. Thanks to Vinci Z Mix. Oh, man. If you want to hear any of the songs I play tonight with Nick the Ride, you can go to Nick the Ride on SoundCloud. He's got all that free music back there. Yeah. Next around! Hey, motherfucker. You're a badass motherfucker. I just wanted to tell you that, motherfucker. Hey, hey, Nick, this is Tommy fucking Tomato. What's going on, man? Yeah, listen, you're a fucking liar. I saw you buying all those uh, bananas and whatever with that other guy in the supermarket yesterday. Don't try to fucking lie. I'll see you tomorrow.
cut the deficit in half without weakening the fragile economic recovery in the short run. We're stuck in the ditch. But the Union didn't have a picket line outside the museum. I love women. Oh, ho, ho. Really? Hi, uh, this is Raquel. I... Yeah, motherfucker. I thought I told you one time, I'll tell you 16 times. Stop blasting that monkey bullshit up from the sewer. You're trampling my HS signal down in Mexico. I can't get my slave labor coast made. I can't get my signal down there because you're trampling my motherfucking signal. I can hear that shit coming up through my... I got whacked. So slow. Got whacked so slow. Uh -huh. Who was that? I got teleported. Wow. Life's crazy. You just get teleported all over. Oh man, that made me want to play some Undertale. Well, the fu fuck, it's Friday. I'm hammered. I'm going to play some video games. You could play games too if you want. You could play games if you want to. Uh. Alright, well, I guess. I guess that's it, everybody. Uh. Have a good night! Uh, hey, Rainer, you could send it back on down to Earth now, please. Uh, I'm, I'm always done in the bathroom. Uh, I'm sure you're doing a really good job up there. Don't send any down. Don't send any nukes. Or mines or any of your weird Rainer Starcraft shit. Uh, you could keep all that. You could keep all that up there in your spaceships. Just give me control of my radio station again, man. I promise, I'll give you all my space bucks. It's, it's cool. Like, really, I'm not going to tell anybody about any of the stuff that you've done to, to, to me behind the scenes of the show. And, oh, oh, Raider, come on, man. Raider. Raider, are you there? Just give me the, sh give me the show back, please. Raider. Please just, please just, Raider. Hey, how do I flush the toilet? I don't know. It smells really bad. Hey. All right, well, yeah, not in the sewer anymore. This is the after show. And this is when we get to party. Uh oh, Shiner Buck. Oh, Shiner Buck. I'm really drunk from drinking you. Um, just want to say thanks to everybody that just, uh, that, that listens and stuff. It's cool. It's, I'm doing it for you. And I just want to say thanks. So that was episode... Click, click, click. Click, click. Episode 17, Down the Drain. Nick the Ride, everybody. Woo!